Hello, this is Jim Curry with the Curry Report, Lake City, Florida Real Estate Report. We're going to give you a quick market update today about what is going on in the Lake City, Florida real estate and home sales. I always tend to get two questions. How's the market? And the other question I get is, are we at the bottom? Okay, let's talk about these two things real quick and give you some information about how is the Lake City market. First of all, let's talk about how many homes sold. Okay, this little chart shows you that back in 2005, in the first six months of the year, we sold 295 homes in Columbia County. By 2010, that number had fallen to 169, and again in 2011, it again had fallen to 131 homes sold in Columbia County. That's a 20% reduction from 2010 and a 55% reduction in sales from 20, 2005. You in business, how would you like to watch 55% of your sales volume go down in six years? That's made it a really tough market, not as many homes selling. Now let's talk about sales price. Okay, in 2006, the median price was $177,000. That was the peak of the market. By 2010, that number had fallen to 125,000. And again, this year, in 2011, that number had fallen to $120,000. $100,000, excuse me, gotta get my numbers right here. Now, that is a 20% reduction from 2010, a 45% reduction from the peak of the market in 2006. So overall, we have watched sales volume fall by 55% and we have watched pricing fall by 45%. Now, everybody, this has had a real factor on being able to sell your home and what is going on. And the big factor that comes into this, which everybody also asks, is how are foreclosures? And the buyers are going, I want to look at foreclosures. Show me the foreclosures. Are there good deals out there? I want a deal. Okay? Foreclosures are 45% of our sales. That is up dramatically. The number used to be like 5% of our sales. So the foreclosures now are the driving force in our marketplace. So the question becomes, have we hit the bottom? Okay. This year, at the beginning of the year, prices hit right at that 100,000 price range. In fact, in the first, very first quarter, first couple of months, pricing was right around 99,000, 98,000 median price for a home. Now, it seems to be kind of creeping up to where now it's actually about 103 to 105,000. If anything, we seem to be flattening out and stabilizing for the first six months of the year. And there's evidence down in South Florida, Fort Myers, Port St. Lucie, some of the markets that got the hardest hit by this recession, they are actually increasing in price. Now some of the other South Florida markets are still showing some declines, but not as much as they used to. And overall, the state appears to be kind of flatlining and getting a flat. So it's too early to say, but we might be at the bottom of the market. We're going to know that by the end of this year and the first part of next year, we're going to be able to say this was the bottom or it wasn't the bottom. But it, it looks like there's evidence showing that we might be at the bottom of the market. Now let's talk about supply. The people talk about, you know, inventory. Us real estate agents, we always talk about how many months supply do you have? Right now, we've got a 17-month supply. What does that really mean? That means for every house that sells, a buyer has 17 homes to pick from. In the upper price range, they have as many as 20 to 25 homes to pick from. In the lower price range, they might only have 10 to 15 homes to pick from. That makes this a buyer's market. But again, that's actually an improvement. A couple of years ago, we were running 24-month supply. 28 month supply. So a 17 month supply is actually an improvement. We're going to find out pretty soon if we're at the bottom and if we've got some stability, but instinctively I think we might be there. Now, a lot of people say, is now the time to buy? Should I be buying a house now? Should I consider it? Is it, you know, is it, is it right time? We're going to talk about that next time. 
We're going to talk to you about why you might want to consider buying, maybe a hold, whatever you want to do, but we're going to give you some information about buying the next time we see you. Until then, this is Jim Curry, signing off.